But the Akane Kurashiki I know isn't here. She's not anywhere. In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Still, it's not like we were completely resentful. We had to be here to help change the past. That part's easy to understand. But... Kinda sucks, though. I mean, Sigma and Phi have it easy. They get to go back to December 25th in 2028. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? The one with the motorcycles? It would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. Then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Don't get us wrong. We know why we had to be here. Without us, S's consciousness wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But... It's still not the best situation for those of us left in the Northwest. We're stuck in the reality where the 90 bikers died. Are we just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. And what about our friends and families? We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit much. So we went and talked to the old lady. She told us that there is one way. One way we could get back to the past. Let's say you do go back to the past. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? But that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. How on earth does she plan to do that? Schrodinger's cat. Oh, hey Kyle. Figured you'd come here eventually. Where's Dr. Klein? Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Want me to start it? Sh sure. Glad to see you. There isn't anything in particular that I have to tell you. However, I imagine there are a great number of things weighing on your mind. I'd love to answer all your questions, but unfortunately, my circumstances make that an impossibility. I hope you can forgive me. Everything I know, Phi should also know. I have instructed her to answer any questions anyone might have. Anyone other than Kyle, that is. What does he mean, other than Kyle? Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Oh, right, well... I guess I may as well cut to the chase. Just who are you, Phi? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or a Merman, or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin, or Common, or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. Please don't dodge the question. About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D. April 13th, 2029. On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. Although by then, you were in cold sleep. 
You wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 years. You slept there, frozen, until the time was right. Then on January 25th, 2074, you were finally thawed out, even though you didn't wake up. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AB room. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out and sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars Mission Test Facility. Fortunately, your plan failed. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is, of course, the version of you that left your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. This caused the two versions of you to swap places, and you moved 45 years into the future where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you, only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. Have I missed anything? No, everything you talked about, you got right. What do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of... X factor. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times V2 over C squared is the actual equation. Of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared, which is the speed of light squared. That means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually, since that would mean dividing by 1, it's usually okay. You see what I'm saying? In most situations, it works even if it isn't technically correct. So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about right. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. In fact, I feel like you're dodging my questions. So is that what you wanted to ask about? No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. What happened there? How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? And why was Radical Six in there in the first place? What could a deadly virus have to do with the simulated mission to space? Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why? Because it would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. But if I tell you what you're asking me right now, then that reality will disappear. You understand? I don't. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? <laughs> 